This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here showcasing the Mirillus Action game recording software. This is my favorite game recording software that I've used over the past several months, and I have to tell you, I've used Bandicam, I've used Fraps, I've used Open Broadcast Software OBS, and for streaming and recording to the disc, Action is the best screen recording software that I've used so far. As far as streaming, there is some limitations, and I'll talk about those, but it's still excellent for that as well. So the first thing you do is after you install Action and you license and register it, which is very reasonably priced, by the way, for the amount of features you get, this is your home screen. You can see it has the default location where you want to store all your videos or where you want to load in videos. And I have one game video that's recorded to show you after I'm done showing the features. <clears throat> On your main screen, you have your video recording sections. It shows you which button you currently have assigned to stop, start and stop video recording. You could set it to recording game mode, which is basically when you're in the game, you'll see the little frames per second counter at the top of your screen, and then you press your recording button and it starts recording, and then you press your recording button again and stop your recording. Real simple. You can also set it to active screen, which will record the active screen. You could set it to record very specific section of the screen, and you can also have it set to record the USB or HDMI capture devices if you're using a capture card as well. So again, a lot of options and flexibility here. <clears throat> Output file format. If you want lossless file format, highest resolution, highest quality, but also takes up the most space on the disk, AVI is what you want to go with. For me, I'd prefer to work with the MP4 files. They're smaller, easier to edit, and honestly, the resolution loss is barely noticeable. So play around, compare the difference. I was fine with MP4, and it's worth it for the smaller file sizes. If you're using an NVIDIA video card, take advantage of the NV and VINC. Um, I didn't notice any significant difference between NVINC and HEVC, but the NVINC definitely helps with the recording going faster as well as the processing. Again, original video size, although you could downscale or upscale. And then video frame rate, I usually leave it fixed at 60 frames per second. It does allow you to go up to 120 frames per second recording uh, as well. You can have specific durations, so that way when you start the recording, it will only record for a set amount of time and auto stop. You can have it set to where it's always recording your mic all the time, or only if you press a specific button down, or simply record on and off with the button. <clears throat> you can have it record a webcam and insert that, as well as you could have a time shift where when you press the record, it then starts only after a certain amount of interval uh, waiting. On the live section tab, you could set it to control live streaming. Again, you can have it live stream and record to the disk. You can have it auto reconnect. You can set your stream video size, your stream video bit rate. You could stream to Twitch. You could stream to YouTube, live stream, Facebook directly. A lot of options here. You can even choose which server you want to stream to when you select it to Twitch, which is really reasonable as well. Uh, the streaming stable, it shows you the stream is live on the right. It doesn't show you like if there's comments, and it doesn't really show you some of the details you can get from other streaming services. Uh, one thing that I would like to see is I'd like to see comments, or at least notifications of viewers and comments on the stream. The other thing about the streaming services, unlike some programs, if you tab out of the game to go like reply to a YouTube comment or something, it immediately stops the stream. There's no way to pause the stream like you can with the the recording to the disk. So I would prefer to pause it, go respond to comments, come back to it, or be able to tab out and still leave it streaming the game in the background when I tab out. So that's something to note about the streaming that I think could be a feature improvement. <clears throat> Under the audio recording, you could set if you just want to use it to record audio, if you want to separate the audio from the video, things like that. For benchmarking, you could use it to set down the uh, benchmarking on how it's doing for your you know, your CPU, your RAM, and, and see how it performs. You could use it to take screenshots if you're not using, you know, NVIDIA Shadow Play or Steam Snapshots or whatever the snapshot service, it can do snapshots. And then you, have, of course, have the general settings, which gives you a lot of options. Primarily, you know, check for updates, hide the window. <clears throat> for video quality for the recording, you can get normal, high, ultra, the bit rate that you want to set it to. Uh, you can use multi-core for recording, record the mouse and visual clicks if you want to record your desktop. So you don't just record games, you can use this to record any desktop software or create any desktop recordings. Of course, right now I'm using Camtasia 9 to record myself, showing you how to use Action, but Action could have recorded to do that stuff as well. Under the image section, you have overlay graphics. This is something I really like because unlike other services, this will insert a logo or whatever sort of graphic you want and position it somewhere on your video. 
the cool thing is it not only works for the recorded video, but you can actually insert this graphic on your live stream so that you always have your graphic overlay on your live stream. That's something that other services that I've used haven't had. Have. They don't have the ability to insert the graphic on a live stream in real time. You can, of course, record your webcam and preview to show your webcams being recorded as well. <clears throat> It also supports chroma keys, so if you have a green scheme behind you, you can filter out the green scheme, uh, put another background, etc. So again, a lot of options here for the software, which is very reasonably priced. You can record the system sounds, record, you know, multi-channel audio recording in case you need to manipulate the separate channel separately. <clears throat> for audio device, you can choose some options there as well, even add a delay if you need to, set mic volume, compare the mic volume to the system sound volume so that you get your volume levels right, so that way your game sound isn't over, you know, over uh, drowning out your microphone sound and vice versa. Of course, you select your HUD settings, where do you want the HUD to display, what do you want to display on your HUD, that kind of thing. Like it could show live stream viewer statistics, which basically shows you how many people are watching the stream, but you can't, it doesn't show you if they're commenting, so you have no way of knowing if people are actually interacting. <clears throat> now for export settings, it shows you how you can export as well, the export output folder, which type of hardware acceleration you want to use for when it encodes the export, and of course you can do your hotkeys. You could use your default keys for record, record audio, benchmarking, screenshots, or you could set custom keys. You can, you know, detect the frame rate, you could change your HUD display position, you can change you know, the pause and resume video. Now, pause and resume video is good when you're recording the disc. You can actually pause the video, then exit out of the video, and it won't stop the recording, and then resume and go right back to where you were recording. I wish they had a pause resume for streaming, but they don't. Um, you can, of course, cancel the recording and not save it to the disc, and you can add bookmarks in the recording itself as well, uh, jump tos, but not everything supports that. Of course, the start and stop streaming, you said as well, as well as saving the time shift. So again, the software is very impressive, it works very well, and when you want to do, you know, record a game, which I have here, and I've uploaded to YouTube, I'll show you what it looks like here when I go back to it. Here's a live stream of Overwatch I did with my son and some other Dragon Bloggers, and I had the overlay in real time, the mics recording from all of us, so I'm going to show you what the action player plays here. You can see my logo here at the bottom right. Now, this was during a live stream directly to YouTube. So, again, extreme.